Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create objects along the spline. So right now I have a spline, which is uh, a bit curved. And again, in this, I'm just going to uh, move the vertices up into the axis for like, these two vertices. All right, now <clears throat> let's assume we want to create a point right along this curve or on this curve. So what we can do is, we'll say pt is equal to point and that creates the point for us. And now we'd like to position this on the curve. So let's say we just want to position this at the center of the curve. So we have a method called interp curve 3 So basically it interpolates the curve and gives us a point 3 uh, or a vector three uh, position. And the parameters that it takes is basically the spline. So I'm just going to select this and give the first argument as dollars, which is the current selection. And we have only one selection, so it's going to access the spline. And then the segment. So we just have one segment, but still we we'll provide one as the segment. And now assume that this curve, when straightened, goes from zero to one. So 0 0.5 will be right in the center of this curve. So if I evaluate this, we get a position. And now let's say pt dot pose is equal to this. And there you go. If you see closely in 3D, it's right there. Uh, the point is placed in the center of this plane. Now let's say you want to place a box. So we'll say, bx is equal to box and similarly we'll say bx dot position we need to select this blank first so there we go and now the box is placed right on the center of this plane or right in the center of this plane the next thing that we would like to do is we would like to uh, make the box follow this spline, so let's say it follows this spline like this, it has a direction towards the spline, something like this. So for that, what we can do is, we need to orient the box such that wherever we place the box, it has to follow a certain vector. And to follow a certain vector, we will need to interpolate a point prior to the current point and a point that is further along the spline of the current point. So let's say P1 equals uh, inter curve the selection and then we'll say 0 0.45 and P2 will be 0 0.55. And now we create a box, place it right in the center of the spline and say BX dot DIR. So DIR is a direction uh, of the box. And we'll say P2 minus P1. So whenever we want to get a direction of a vector, we say the end point minus the starting point. So P2 minus P1. And if you see, the box has been oriented along this plane. Now, what we will do is, this was just an introduction to how we can make objects and place them along this plane and make them follow this plane. We will write a function and we'll write a for loop so that we can easily um, create multiple objects across or along multiple splines. So when we write the function, we'll say fn create objects. And we will take a couple of parameters like the shape or the spline shape that we want to create objects on or along which we want to create objects. Uh, the spline and the number of objects. And in the function, we will create a for loop for O in one to num number of objects to and here we'll say current point. So the current point is going to be 1.0. Now if you consider this, you know, whole spline going from zero from the starting vertex to one or at the nth vertex. So we'll say 
divided by num objects plus one and multiplied by the current iteration which is O. Okay. So if we just want to create one point, it will be created at the center because number of objects plus one is one plus one two. So one point zero upon two, which is going to be zero point five, and into zero into O, which is one. Now what we need to do is we need to get P one, which is going to be enter curve C D. The shape that we are going to create the objects on, the spline number, and current point. Now, this is a point prior to the current point, so current point minus 0 0.2. Let's give a very small value 0 0.2. And P2, so the second point is going to be same, except we'll take it, uh, we'll add 0 0.2 to current point. Now we will create a box so bx is equal to box and we'll scale it down so bx dot scale equals uh, 0 0.2 comma 0 0.2 comma 0 0.2 and then we'll say bx dot position equals now I'll just copy this because it has to go to current points which is C U R R current point so what are we doing here we are just creating a function that takes in a shape and a spline and the number of objects we want to create on the spline itself and then from one to number of objects we get the current point where the current object is going to be spawned and placed and we are going to then take the first point and second point so that we can align the box in a proper way and we create a box and scale it down and we position the box. The only thing that is left is box.dir equals p2 minus p1. All right. Now, if I say create objects, uh, dollars, so we need to provide these parameters one and let's say let's create an object then uh, boxes. So there you go. Now we have created successfully 10 objects. And they are along the spline. So if you see in the z direction as well or the z axis, and they have been aligned properly. So what we can do is we can create a helix again. I'll convert this to a readable spline, and now we will create 10 objects on this. So there you go. If you see, they have been nicely created and oriented. I can delete the boxes and create, let's say, 50 of them. I need to select this first and create. If I have any other spline, I can still do that. So let's say I'll do it. And let's create um let's see two objects in the center of the donut. So the spline segment here will be two. And before I do uh, run the script, I'll just uh, convert this to a readable spline. This is a readable spline, and then I run it. So there you go. We have two objects, two boxes. All right, let's create a few more. So that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this uh, helpful. In the next couple of videos, we will soon move on to using uh, editor and creating um, a good UI where you could create buttons and sliders to uh, pick a shape and place all the objects. So thank you so much for watching.